Brother John Ben Rodriguez. Alam pa rin na nangyong sila? What's up, man? We're gonna do something different today. Ano naman, nakalikamit ka tuna man ang nagkumpalitokan. Are you ready for a conversation? Yes. Uy, itong na kaya? <laughs> Alright, what's up, bros? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Brother Oli. In case you don't want to listen to the 11 o'clock session, but it's a blessing to be here. Wow. Ang gusto ko may mga buhay. Pagkakal tayo. Others? Hindi kayo magpasakit. So, brothers, dito tayo. Because each of us have something to preach today. Burning in our hearts and young people. Are you ready for a conversation? So, pare ka naman. Uh, it's so good that we have each other here. This is the fruit of one FBA. We get to do lives together. We have three points to share to you about fruitfulness, especially the seasons of fruitfulness. I want to start. Is that okay? Sure. For you need? Okay. I want to preach about the first is planting season. Everybody say planting. Planting. Oh, wow. Planting. Planting good seeds is what I actually want to say. When you're going to be planting and you want to have fruitful, kailangan mo rin itingnan yung mga seeds. Some, if you know farmers, they actually look into the quality of the seeds. Because in genetics, ito yun, they have to look into the pinakamasasarap na fruits, have hanapin yun yung seeds na yung mga pinaka uh, resistant to whatever, you know, whatever problems as it becomes a tree, and I'm doing this. That's why you have to be very looking for and planting the right kind of seeds in your life. I have three stories just to share quickly. The first one is this. I'll show you a picture of this. My company, uh, our management team, leadership team, uh, is a business of life. We are actually the one of the busiest seasons ever. We're, we're in the midst of the most growth. But the management team decided in my company, I know we need to go out and and and, and serve and serve people and, and and we went to Adamir, it's Adamir Lady Missions Foundation, it's a home for bad elderly. It was fun because we did not just bring stuff to to native them. We actually had entertainment for the lawless and the lawless. So we want to do Yes, so on a limited capacity, we can have an entertainment as if we come to Summer, no? Oh, so that was summer. And 
what we felt that is, uh, again, my company has a foundation, and the foundation uh, uh, focused a scholarship program for the less privileged people. These guys, uh, they're poor communities, it's a Thailand community, beautiful, but 31% are below poverty line, and the poverty line is actually 200 USD dollars per month income of the family for, for five, for five. Parang 10K, no? No, oh, below 10K, you're considered below the poverty line. And I know we met the fish and fall, we met the kids, and then we went to Kuala Lumpur, and it was not about that. And what I'm trying to say is we went there, we went as far as we have to go I had to do a airplane, a lunch, a food, and then, you know, both are, uh, <laughs> but 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 what we went there for is we're 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 not in that community and we're planting seeds, we're selecting for us and we will support for the lift for four years as the they finish that uh 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 they finish college or university and then with the hopes that they would have better chances in life and they could bring it home to their family and improve the community. One of the best ways I discovered to lift people out of poverty, to lift communities out of poverty, is to have education. So, again, we don't have to see that, but we're trying to plant with seeds. So, and, oh, how do we do that? Is there any more reflection on it? Well, each and every one of us have seeds. We can plant it with one another. And maybe, you just need a little push to keep it up. Kahit hindi mo siya makita, even if you don't see how it will bear fruit, just you know, you're planting good things, you're planting good intentions, you're planting good seed, not just in a place, not just in an organization, but persons, communities, and that's such a rewarding thing. Plant good seeds. When you're in the planting season, plant good seeds. And don't be afraid to plant that. You will never know, and sometimes you, you know, the greatest wisdom is there are people who planted seeds and they, they, they will become trees and they will never see the shape of And last na lang, wala yung procession. No, mas hindi. So, last na lang. Sige, okay na. Sige, hindi ba sa Open Retreat Tree? Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Thursday, yan. Thank you. There was a garden there called Garden of Abundance. Nag-enjoy yung mga tao doon. Kasi nag-enjoy na. Kasi itong garden of abundance na ito, punta ka lang sa area na yun. Tapos kung alin lang doon, kuha ka lang. Libre po. Mga pinag-iwa yun. Libre. There's coffee, there's pag-lasal, there's peace magazine, there's cosmetics. May mga nag-donate eh. May mga, there is, uh, may, may toys, may remolio, may carrots. It was so nice. And, and it was it was crazy because we thought oh, we were tired. But I just wanna let you know, on the very next day, ang mga tao handa ng dala sa ng plastic basket. Alam na ng mga abundance for the next day. But you know what? We were this, this, these are the people who I, we organized it with, and they prepared the food and etc. And you know it was awesome for us because you know we. We are thankful for donors and sponsors that they get they get to start it. But we also ask some people if you are in the, in the crowd on the first day, if you want to share something for Friday, go ahead. And you know, people came with small plastics, and even with a lot of boxes upon boxes. Guys, I think that the, the, the abundance, the seeds of abundance, seeds, the seeds of abundance. <laughs> The seeds of abundance is being replanted and replanted in the minds and hearts of people here. And that will only be successful because we're here tending to the garden that God has given to us. And what, what am I saying? These guys also, these have been our volunteers serving in the coffee area. Paglabas mo, there's coffee there. It couldn't be wala na. Sige, parang pakan natin. But we want to have that vision now when they go to the feast, you know, I was talking to Lita Becky, uh, the sister of Brother Paul, and she mentioned last Easter Sunday when we come and talk about she said, you know, when the feast started, that was the vision. And that's how they started. No one, pagkatapos ng feast, meron talagang uh, kape at pan, they go home. <laughs> but the, the very first feast, 
and they're happy to see that it's now being replanted again and these guys, mga servants natin in the lobby, I mean, they, they just, they, they received the, the pagdasal and the coffee and they said, Uy, ang saya naman ito, pwede mo kami tumulong? Can we have, can we volunteer? So there was a vision to the community, but we didn't have builders, and we didn't have enough servants and volunteers, but here they came. What I'm trying to say is, your good seeds will be given to you. The provisions will come for you. And it's, it's uh, I'm saying all of these stories because it, it's not to plan. I'm, I'm trying to encourage that we can do so many things with our seeds. That we can plant seeds. Don't be afraid to plant. Really, filter mo din kung ano yung mga nakukuha mo at yung pinaplant mo. And on a personal note, I've been going through tough times as well, as any one of us. But I, I, I realize that serving others is my enemy. Serving others is the therapy. It helps my heart, it grounds me, it keeps me humble, and I'm grateful for the community of the animals. Yeah, so keep on planting. Touch the person beside you, so you can keep on planting. Keep on planting. All right, well, this who's next? Ako naman. I, I'd like to share about the concept of repartee. Feeling ko naputol din ako sa topic. Kasi nag-search ako ng verses about planting. Eh, repotting. Planting meron, pruning meron. Repotting wala po sa Bible. Sabi ko din na at ako ito. But I reflected deeper and I realized this topic was special for me. Dito was shared earlier. I love your sharing that your parents actually planted your wedding in good soil. They were a community, ganyan. They were followers of God. I was broken in a broken family. I was born with my uncles, yung classic Filipino macho mojo. Yung weekend, makikita mo na yung mga tito mo ng pon. Tapos kami mga bata, ano yan? Huwag kayo dito, gano'n. Yung gano'ng mojo. So parang for me, when you're talking about planting good seeds, ever since I joined the community, it was my envy. Nainita ko sila na, kung hindi pa sila maganda yung pamilya, gano'ng gano'n. But now, and this is the topic, I really love it. It doesn't matter, even if you were planted before in a bad soil, in a bad environment, because you can always choose to be part. God can allow you to be part to a place where you will grow and you will flourish. And the interesting thing about repotting, para dito sa mga plantito, yung plantita natin yan, it's a very intentional and deliberate move. Gagawin mo yan kapag stunted na yung grown ng plant mo, because usually, the roots are bound, and the nourishment of the soil is already gone. So replanting, and if you want to repot, you must repot in an environment where you will be nourished. You must repot also in an environment when you will grow. So ganun yun. Kailangan nyo pong maging deliberate decision. You being here, regardless of where you came from, is God's reminder that He is repotting you in a better environment. Amen? Amen. Ito, one thing sharing na lang, back to that. Siguro just a personal reflection and testimony that happened to me because of this reporting. Husbands, or husbands here and boyfriend, can you raise your hands? Palampakan naman po natin yung mga husbands at mga boyfriends na nandito. Ito ha, tip sa mga girlfriend and husbands. Can you please stop na yung the husbands? Oh, makinig ka sa to, para sa ito. O kaya, ano natutunan mo? Parang hindi, dahil ikaw nagdala dyan, ikaw lang yan. The Lord used you to repot that person here. Because here, men will receive the nourishment that they need to be God. Do you agree, men? Diba? Imagine na lang itong conversation na ito. Paano lang nangyayari na itong conversation sa mga lalaki by default? May spirit ng alak. Nasa beer? Garden. Ngayon tayo nasa garden ni Lord. Diba? With the spirit of God teaching us how to be good. Diba? Paano gusto nyo tuloy ng beer? Pwede mo ba na yan? Well, nakawal mo ka sa beer ko. Oo nga. So, Para sa akin gano'n, I feel when, especially I talk to men now, because I feel that God is teaching me to talk about men. Dahil na I know my roots. Being raised from a broken family brings so many boundaries and natural limits are not just sa'yo. So, the tendency to repeat and history happen to me is high. 
So I think God is competitively anak na airpot ka na ta. May mga bagay na wala nang nutrients na may bibigay sa so you must stop doing it. And one, one thing na meron din yung sa akin about that is this. Nung na-review na ako, mahilig pa rin ako mag-add sa IGG ko ng mga meeting ko yung model at least na ganyan. So parang ideally kasi alam niya mga lalaki kayo, di ba? So, ayun na hindi mo alam. Sige, mamaya ka na mga kita. Di ba? Ayun, ba ko na yun? Ayun, friends, so parang nung, pero syempre, na kayo, alam mo na, na hindi mo na pwede mo marahin yan sa isip mo, mga ganyan, parang just enjoy the beauty of creation. Until one time, God compared me. This gives me no more nutrients. Next time, we're getting married. I have a wife that I'm committed to. And then, God compared me, ano ginawa mo? Ginawa mo, inang-follow mo lahat. I curated my feet. Para bang ano, you're, you're actually repotting. Pipiliin mo na yung soil, dapat nutrient. So parang itong actions na ito, anak, wala lang nutrient sa sila. Stop doing it. And you know what's the blessing? I guess it gave me another level of acceptance and appreciation for the beauty of my wife. At minsan yung asawa ko nakakakawa. Kasi pagka, ano, minsan siya chance na nga po, ganyan, niya, yakapin mo yung ilang sa bahay. Oo, oh, kasi asawa ko naman, di ba? Um, fair warning, pag-asawa lang po yun. Dapat may ganyan mo na kayo, ha? Pagka-girlfriend mo, lahat ng energy mo, tailored mo na, okay? So yun. Kasi minsan yung asawa ko, sasabihin ako, ano ba ang manya ko? Tapos ba yung sabihin ko, answer yung prayer ko to. Sabi niya, ha? Namanya ka? Hindi, matagal ka na ganyan. Sabi niya sa akin. Sabi niya, sabi ko, hindi. Kasi alam mo ba, nang pinaglatasan ko araw-araw, na lahat ng pagnanasa ko, sa'yo lang. Kaya pagpatawarin mo ako kapag ganito ko ang hindi tayo. And I believe that's how it is, mga kapatid. That when God is planting you in another place, make sure it's a nutrient-rich environment. If you're in business, there are certain practices that you cannot do anymore. You cannot, you cannot shortcut the wages, you cannot shortcut the taxes. Diba? Choose, because sometimes, the, more, the most nutrient-rich soil where you can be is not easy. Hindi madali. Kailangan may eto. Planting is, repotting is deliberate and intentional. We must take our sponsors. We don't go to the table. Beautiful. Woo! Why do you want to ask us? We can actually close up that note and get less already than there is no risk of the people that are going to go. My last point, and this is really the element that I feel is the most relevant to all of us because this happens in every season of our life. The first is called planting, the second is called repotting, the third is called pruning. Can everybody say pruning? Pruning. Pruning. Pruning is all about removing the dead branches, the dead stuff that's in the tree that's no longer bearing fruit. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll read to you one parable that Jesus gave in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 13, verse 6. If you have a physical Bible, especially here online, read it with me. He says in verse 6, Then Jesus told the story. A man planted a fig tree in his garden and came again and again to see if there was any fruit on it. But he was always disappointed. I'll park in there for a moment. We mentioned this before that whenever you read in the Bible and you come across the word garden, it's always related to the garden of Eden. And here you see a hyperlink in itself because it says here that the man planted a fig tree in his garden. You know this is related to the garden of Eden? How do I know that? Because the first tree in the garden was a fig tree. Remember when Adam found that he was naked? It said that he covered himself with a fig leaf. Right? So this is a hyperlink to the garden. But it says here that when he saw that there was no fruit in it, he was always disappointed. And I wonder how, if you think about it, one of the greatest reasons and many reasons why we're always disappointed in life, correct me if I'm wrong, is because what we plant does not produce. Right? How many of you have planted some things in your life that did not produce? Raise your hand. Wasn't it disappointing? Yeah. Like, I didn't say some relationship five years ago, I didn't want to say that. I didn't want to say that. I didn't want to say that. I invest in some negotiation. But I didn't want to say that. That happens. And in the end, you get frustrated, you get disappointed. This is a good gospel. That the reason why we end up getting frustrated is because what we plant in life doesn't bear fruit. 
And then Jesus said this in verse 7. Finally, he said to his gardener, we are in the garden right now. He said yeah. to the gardener, I have waited three years. Three years in the three. And there hasn't been a single thing. Cut it out. It's just taking up space in the garden. I love that when it says it's taking up space in the garden. This is very scientific in the sense that see John Ben talked about it a little bit earlier. How have you ever seen a plant or maybe even a tree? Healthy yung tree, pero may dry leaves. May single dry branch. And when you do you prune it, it makes you realize that because there are dry up areas in the tree, hindi dumadado yung nutrients doon. Ama? Question. And I'm gonna ask you later on what your answer is. One of the things that I love, me and my wife, is whenever we go out of town, maybe some of you can relate to this. Because I'm a breakfast person. A regular weekday, when we're not in vacation, I don't really eat breakfast. But whenever we're out of town, you know what I love doing? I love the eat all you can buffet breakfast. How many of you are like me? You look forward to the buffet breakfast, yeah? So, para din po tayo pala. So, one question. Ano ang pinakapaborito yung pagkain every time you eat all you can breakfast? Jagger. Ano ang asawa ko? Sabi ko na ito, pero may ikot na ito. Sige, mga may kaya. Sige, mga may kaya. Ako, bulag. Dry music or Again, okay, okay. Okay, real quickly, can you turn to somebody beside you and ask that person the same question? What's your favorite food one to eat at the breakfast time? Or a buffet breakfast? Come on, just a few seconds. Coco Crunch. Coco Crunch. A limited Coco Crunch. Okay, okay. I'm going to just do that. Okay, so back to me, back to me. So, ako, ang favorite ko, pareha sa'yo, I try not to eat unhealthy because we know that they can get the unhealthy at some point. So, ako, minsan lang ako nagpapafake because of the vacation. But you know what I realized? Every time, magpapafake kami, it just happens to me. You would go to the buffet, you're very excited, you go to the first, you know, set of food, fruits usually, and then you would have bread, and then you would have the rice, you would have the viands, the loganisa, the tapa, everything. And by the time I reach the bacon buffet, punus-punus na na ako sa mga Disappointing naman yun. No, 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 no. It's the other way. By the time I get the bacon, puno na yung plato ko. Di ba? So, ano ba yung favorite breakfast food nyo? Bacon or dati. Ang dati mo, dati mo sa point ko, kasi punong-puno na. That's why here it says, it's taking up space. Asa na? Ayun. Cut it down. Because it's just taking up space in the garden. How in the world can God give you the best blessing when your plate is already full? Think about it. You're asking the Lord, Lord, bless me with this, with this beautiful relationship. But in the meantime, God, you have bad habits, the hawa-hawa mo pa rin ang gano'n. How in the world is, 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 is God able to give you the best blessing if your plate is already full? Cut it down. You know what John Glenn said earlier? He said, um, when you're planting, actually I think it was even also, when you're planting, you need to plant the right seeds, yes, right? You need to look for the good ground. But here's another thing that you need to think about. A lot of us, we waste our potential by planting stuff that's not even related to our purpose. Just like what you said. I'm in my married season, and yet I'm planting single stuff. You know, I'm still thinking like a single guy. I'm still operating like a single man. And it's not even related to my purpose anymore. My purpose right now is to be a parent, and to be a husband. So stick to your purpose. Go back to your purpose. That's my point. And your purpose home. Because then you'll find what are you supposed to be planting in the season. The one's not related to that. That will frustrate you in the end. Cut it down. Remove that in your life. Ruin it. Okay, that's it. It says in verse 8, the gardener answered, this is so beautiful. Sabi the gardener, this is it is, huh? Sir, give it one more chance. Did you know that this is the first biblical reference of Popo Yen Basha? Oh, no. So, sorry, sir, give it one more chance. And then he says this, leave it another year. Uh, that's going to be important in the moment. What, what's going to happen in that, that, that year? I'll give it special attention and plenty of fertilizer. Now, if we get fixed next year, fine. If not, then you can cut it down. I don't have to 
ask you this question, and I know that this is a question that you're probably going to ask me. It's in your minds right now. Brother Oni, the question is this. How will I know when it's time to prove something? Have you ever asked that question? How will I know when, when this is the right time? I've been spending so much time now in this business, on this career, or in this direction. How will I know when I'm going to Would you like to know the answer? Okay, three people would like to know the answer. Okay, would you like to know the answer? Yes. yes. How about you? Would you like to know the answer? Yeah. Okay. It says here, sir, give it one more chance. Leave it another year. Leave it another year. So, you know what One year. Leave it one year. One year, one year, but for me to spend time in working on my health and my finances, is it really one year? Do you think that's the answer, yes or no? No. Why? Because it says, give it, or leave it another year, and then I'll give it special attention. So what is my point? Here's the answer. When it comes to the things that you need to prune in your life, it's not a matter of duration. It's a matter of attention. Yep. Amen. How much attention are you really giving this? I'll end on that note later, okay? But for now, we'll close. You don't even wrap up the video. So where do you put your attention? So good. Did you uh, did you get God's message today? It's a very nice conversation, guys. And uh, what was I supposed to do? No, but I think I ordered Thank you for that. And uh, can we give a big big hand, please? To, 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 I think, guys, we cannot just end it like this. We need to share to one another. Can you find a partner, please? Or a So, very simple question. Ask each other, in what season are you in your life now? Planting, repotting, or pruning? And pruning. One year lang. So, kami din, mag kami ng lang. Say the question again. What is the season? What season are you in your life? Planting, rebutting, or pruning? And just let me know You're in a safe space. Everybody say it's a safe space. Can we start uh, sharing to one another? Ready? Get set, go. Season ten and those seas. Season. Season of pruning. Pruning. Areas. Always pruning. <laughs> Ang tagal ng pruning. Prunes na <laughs> Siguro yun ang pinakamatagal na season mo. <laughs> Hindi matuto. <laughs> Madali lang yung planting at repatting. Pruning pinakamahirap. Kasi hindi mo... Makikita mo naman yung... Pwede ka pang matigas ulo. Ayaw ba magpapruning? Yes. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yan yung pinag-pray ko lang. This is help me pray. Sure. Then that's why I'm still in control of what I'm doing. How long is it? How long is it? Since I'm here. Since I'm here. But it's more than that now. I understand. It's hard to prune. 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 <laughs> ano nila? Men's. Men's talk. Men's talk. <laughs> Actually, si, sa pamilya ko, mga anak ko, tawa ko, wala naman kami problem. Yung sa paligid na. Ay, ayaan nila sa paligid. Kasi, ano, 
understanding naman kasi yung mga uh, yun ang bliss na bliss ako sa mga sa family ko sa mga anak ko mga kapulang ko okay naman yan lang talaga yan ang pinag-pray ko sis na mabago ba mabago yung kanyang pananaw I understand matanda na pero na lang kaiba kasi kaiba siya mismo niyang anak parang less ka sa mga anak mo professional na parang hindi siya hindi siya happy hindi hmm. niya ano hindi niya dancing to do pray na yes yes thank you